friends welcome to our youtube channel for psychiatry education forum academy i am dr harvinder singh i am dr satendra palkar and we are the creator of psychiatry education forum academy so the video that you will watch right now is a very short clip from one of the chapters of the academy so that you can get an insight as to what we do in our academy so please watch it and we will see you at the end of this video lecture many patients prefer to stay on the medication because of the benefit that they have seen or uh, they had trial of multiple antidepressant and one is working so you end up augmenting with the second medication and this is what i will talk about uh, i will discuss six medications that have shown efficacy in literature and i will talk about briefly about the studies i will try my best not to go into the studies otherwise this talk will go longer again so first medication to show efficacy is terazosine um i talked about this medication in our ptsd section also so you can uh, read more on this medication there as well but i will try to focus on the studies uh, but before that we know terazosine works on the peripheral adrenergic receptor you remember that diagram right that i showed you before on the mechanism behind the excessive sweating so terazosine works on the peripheral receptors right now thereby reduces sweating and studies have shown the efficacy here and for every medication that i will talk about i will discuss them in these four section like briefly the patient profile which antidepressants were they on what dose of the treatment medication was used and what were the results so for the first study it was a case uh, series or a case report here so this was published in journal of clinical psychiatry in 2007 so this first case was a 57 year old female on combination of venlafaxine 150 plus welbutrin 300 mg daily the reason i'm including this is so that you can look at if there were any risk factors right for excessive sweatings to happen um if there was a age factor male versus female or higher doses of medication or combination of medication thereby polypharmacy increasing the risk so keep that in mind that's why i'm doing this discussion so that you can implement that in your daily practice so this patient was on a good dosage of two medication venlafaxine and welbutrin was complaining of excessive sweating so terazosine was added and the dose mentioned is 2 mg at bedtime dosage i will recommend starting at a lower dosage because these medications have the first dose response right so you don't want to cause sudden hypotension and thereby increasing the risk of fall or the cardiac death which is more worrisome thing so always start at a lower doses and titrate gradually don't jump to the 2 mg dosage so this study found uh that within few days there was a resolution of excessive sweating side effect so positive study at this age group in this female and the second case report in a same study was for a 67 year old male so a, a older male on a sertraline 75 mg daily dose uh so a higher a uh, range for this age group for sure with sertraline uh and the same dosage at bedtime was used and uh good resolution like within a month 75 percent resolution and by second month complete resolution was seen and then there was another study here and uh this was published in an annual of clinical psychiatry in 2013 this was not a case report or a case series uh this was actually an uncontrolled clinical trial open label pre and post uh test uh they actually recruited patient in their outpatient clinic uh total 23 patient recruited with the age ranging from 18 to 75 and these patients were on various medications i will not go into that but very briefly these were like venlafaxine duloxetine escitalopram sertraline bupropion 
citalopram, fluoxetine, clomipramine. So almost every medication from those two groups were there. Even SNRI group was there. But they actually used this pathway of dosing tera terazosine. So starting dose was one milligram at bedtime. As I mentioned above, start at one milligram, educate your patient for first dose response. And this was increased by one milligram every week, not daily dose increase. Max was six and the most common dosage used in the study was four milligram daily dose. So I think this is very clinically relevant study that was published on how to do it. And the results were very positive. I think all patients responded to terazosine except for one patient and all had noted significant improvement in the skills uh, for the uh, quality of living uh, related to the excessive sweating part. So I will not go into detail much, but very good uh, study base for terazosine. There were more studies, but for the sake of time, I'm only talking about these three right now. These two studies with three cases here. Now, thank you for watching this video. If you find it clinically relevant, please join our Academy membership. And please note, this membership is only for medical professionals so that you all can stay clinically updated. Please go to psychiatryeducationforum.com to learn more. I hope we will see you there soon. You all take care and bye for now. Thank you. Bye for now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.